The mage is a class that has had many amazing weapons, but they have all pretty much been nerfed into oblivion. The pigman sword, the bonzo staff, and the frozen scythe are all examples of weapons that were once amazing but are now complete garbage because the admins just destroyed them. There are only a few weapons that really remain for mage. I'd say the voodoo doll, the spirit scepter, and now a new weapon has entered the ring and is maybe a contender for the best mage weapon in Hypixel Skyblock overall. Hello random people on the internet, my name is Banana, and today we are here to talk to you about a brand new weapon in Hypixel Skyblock that is taking the world by storm by how amazing it actually is in the game. This weapon is great for mages and all classes alike due to its very low mana cost and its low cooldown as well, and that weapon that I am talking about today is the Ice Spray Wand. The Ice Spray Wand drops from the Frozen Adventures present within the Catacombs. I've seen it on Floor 4, I don't know if it's on earlier floors, I don't really play them, but I know for a fact that this thing drops on Floor 4, and it is really rare. I have not personally seen one drop, and all the ones on AH have gone for over like 20 million coins, but there is honestly a reason for that. You look at this thing, and it has the ability Ice Spray, where you produce a cone of ice in front of yourself that deals an amount of damage to mobs, freezes them in place for 5 seconds, and makes them take 10% increased damage. So if I had to compare this weapon to anything, um, imagine if the Ink Wand, an Aspect of the Dragons, and uh, Slowness Potion had a child. Or if you guys have played the game God of War for the PlayStation 4, do you remember the part where you were beating on Baldur, you were destroying him, and then that one giant just breathes on you and just freezes you up and all that? That is the Ice Spray Wand. But yeah, if I were drawing any comparisons at all, it's honestly going to be compared to the Ink Wand in my eyes, because the Ink Wand does 247,000 damage, which is a lot, but it has that 30 second cooldown. And then you have the Ice Spray Wand, where you're still dealing 83,000 damage instantly, but you have a 5 second cooldown and a 45 mana cost. I think it's 50, but since I have an Ultimate Wise 1, it is lowering the cost on it. But you don't even need ultimate wise on this weapon. It's got the 5 second cooldown and 50 mana cost is really nothing. You don't really need 50 mana. You'll regen that even with the huge mana regen nerf. So you can honestly run this without spending all the money on ultimate wise. But I'm just going to show you guys a damage comparison between it and the ink wand real quick. And then show you the use that this has over it. And then I'm just going to use it in a bunch of different situations. If we whip out our ink wand, you can see that we're going to be dealing 743,700 damage. So that is a very sizable damage number. You're able to one-shot the majority of the mobs in the game right now. They haven't added much that is above that health except like Slayer bosses. But you have this cooldown that can get pretty annoying in dungeon runs and in other aspects of the game. And that's where I think the Ice Spray Wand comes most in handy because this thing still does a very sizable amount of damage, but it does not have a very long cooldown. So you're going to see that I'm going to be able to do 249,000 damage with that one. And I'm going to be able to use this pretty much whenever I feel like it, especially in dungeons where Mage gets even more cooldown reduction. You're going to be able to get like 70% cooldown reduction towards the uh, higher levels right now, like level 20 plus you're getting a lot of cooldown reduction, so you're basically able to use this thing whenever, and it costs like no mana at all, but it's doing about a third of the damage of the Ink Wand, which is still really, really good. This is the second highest base damage I think that you can get on a mage weapon. Maybe the Pigmin might be a little higher, but the Pigmin just feels so much more situational than this thing, because this thing has just so many things going for it. It has the cone, it has the freezing mobs it makes them take more damage this thing is just the whole package of a weapon and then you have to take into account that this is actually a dungeon item which means that it's going to be better as a sword in dungeons and it's actually a huge thing to use mage weapons as swords now where you're just left clicking and right clicking so that you can actually regen mana because if you did not know they nerfed mana regen in dungeons by 90 percent so you really do need to get some melees off and this weapon is really good at doing that so I have tested it on a couple things. You cannot use this on Slayer bosses, but using it in dungeons is definitely really effective. And I do just really want to show you how that works right now. So you guys know how I was talking about God of War earlier? Well, you know how that one giant was the ice spray wand? Well, the world serpent? Well done, boy. That is a shadow assassin. 
So Shadow Assassins are really annoying with this thing because they are really good at dodging it. You have to be really smart if you're fighting a Shadow Assassin with this. It's not just a free kill a mob because it's frozen. This guy's going to teleport behind you and he is going to kill you. And even if you freeze him, the Shadow Assassin will still try and teleport to you if you walk too far away. So it is very unsafe to fight a Shadow Assassin. And I actually failed a bunch of times while trying to record this video in fighting one. So that's a thing. Alright, so I hear a Shadow Assassin behind me. And he's frozen, baby. Look at this. Look at this idiot. Look at him. Look at him. He, he, imagine moving. Imagine moving, ding dong. Imagine me missing all my bats. Oh no. Oh no. This is stupid. See, I, the one thing that I find about this is that it is mildly hard to hit. Because it's like, it's like if you're shooting an aspect of the dragons at an enemy. But this thing is really good. Like right there, if I was able to hit that and I didn't choke the shot, then I definitely could have survived. Alright, I definitely would not have been a dead idiot McGee. Round two on this Shadow Assassin. Uh, shadow Assassins are definitely really annoying to hit with this because they teleport, they do all sorts of shit. But once you do hit them, you can sort of keep them in control. So the one mob that I hate using this weapon on is a Shadow Assassin. Because this guy is way too quick. He's going to like teleport behind me. And then I have to freeze him like that. And then run away really quick. Because this guy's going to still be able to teleport while he's frozen. Because it just is really annoying like that. Okay, so I hit him again. We're going to see if I can actually kill him. It makes it easier, obviously, when you're able to freeze him like this. But it's still a really annoying fight, especially when he's from the yellow room and he has just so much health. Alright, so he's frozen again. Let me get a voodoo on him. And, uh, oh, there we go. Alright, so I was able to kill him this time. I've choked fighting that guy so many times in this recording, you would not believe it. But... It was really annoying. I did not have a fun time fighting Shadow Assassins. So they're still going to be a little bit weird. But if you can get used to like waiting for them to teleport behind you, flicking onto them, and then hitting them with the wand, maybe you can make it work. So I think the room that this wand is best shown on is something like the Blood Room. Because you can sort of go into here and freeze a massive horde of mobs. Just an insanely large group of them. And just keep them at bay. The one thing is, there are going to be some that survive out of your thing. And it can get a little annoying there. But then you just whip out another weapon while they're frozen. And just hit them with that. So you're able to combine this with other mage weapons. To just make your AoE damage so good. Because AoE is probably what mage does best already. And this is just locking the people in a certain area. So you can just spam it with a barrage of bats. Alright, so I'm in the boss fight area now, and you can see that we just spawned in a bear. And the bear is one of the best mobs that you can uh, hit with the ice wand. Because you can literally just freeze him in the middle of the map, or wherever you want to have him, and just go ham on him. The only thing that actually knocks him back is literal knockback. And you can just keep freezing him over and over, and he won't be able to do his annoying strafe, which is probably the worst thing about the bear, because he's so quick sometimes. And is so annoying. This weapon's also really good at just controlling crowds. You can see all these like cows and stuff. I can just freeze them in the middle and kill them really easily with the bat scepter. I'd say that this is just a really good weapon for setting up kills. It's it's okay for killing, obviously. It has damage that it does, but it's not a noticeable amount of damage when you can do so much more with like a bat scepter in the same like amount of time by just spamming it and having this nuts AoE. But like controlling the bear, controlling everything on the map is a huge tool that cannot be like ditched and definitely should be used by most mages and even like healers can use it. And right now I'm actually going to test it on an endstone protector. I actually haven't tried this, but hopefully it is able to freeze this thing from moving at all, which would be really helpful for killing it and making sure that everyone is able to do a lot of damage. So it's going to be good if it freezes it at all and it's going to be good for the future of skyblock obviously when you're able to freeze any mob so you can see it actually does work i have frozen the endstone protector he can't move by himself right now he's only getting moved by people knocking him back so this is actually really good 
for just keeping this guy locked down and keeping future bosses and stuff locked down. This is actually really cool. I didn't expect this to work at all, but it actually is freezing him. He's only moving if people are knocking him back, which is... That, that's just sick. I cannot believe that actually works. Let's see if I can get a high placement, please. Number two and crystal fragments. Let's go, baby. Overall, I think that the ice spray wand is exactly what the mage needed as a class. Obviously, we were struggling as mages. You can see this graph. It really shows that mages are just the... We're getting fucking nerfed again.